Hello, I'm Richard Tyler, Director of Performance and Possibility at BTFI and Building a Team. Hello and welcome to BTFI and www.buildingateam.co.uk. Thank you for taking the time to visit us. Over the next four or five minutes, I want to take a moment to tell you the story of BTFI because lots of people read the BTFI website, they talk to us about BTFI and they say, actually, what does it really mean? And I want to take a moment to tell you that because it's really fundamental to everything else you're going to hear and see about BTFI. Now, Benjamin Zander is the conductor of the Boston Philharmonic Orchestra. He talks all around the world on this idea of possibility. How do we create organisations, teams and leaders where we build frameworks around them for possibility as opposed to frameworks around them for impossibility? Maybe you'll have experienced that before. Maybe you'll have been a part of a team or an organisation where the frameworks are all built around impossibility, the things you cannot do, must not do, shouldn't do. Ben Zander was interested in possibility. He tells a story about a very young cello player going for his first big audition, his first major opportunity. They were working together one evening. They were practising. And Ben Zander noticed that this guy played one of two ways. The first way was in tune, in time, professional, note perfect, thorough, really good, really solid playing. However, he noticed that the moment he started to push him, challenge him, coach him, stretch him, suddenly this guy started to play the second way. And when he played the second way, he took risk. He was courageous. He was brave. Suddenly he'd stretch the notes as far as they could go. And by doing so, by being that committed to the piece, by being that inspirational, by, that pa by being that passionate, he took an audience way beyond where they ever imagined they could go. Then he'd go back to playing the first way. Good, thorough, professional, note perfect, in time, in tune, solid. They broke for some dinner and Ben Zana said, you know, you play these one or two ways. The first way is really good. Any orchestra would be proud to have a player like that. However, the second way you play, you take risk, you're courageous, you're brave, you commit to the music, you inspire, you're passionate. And by doing so, you take an audience way beyond where they ever imagined they could go. The young player said, yeah, I know, I know, but I don't know how I get from playing the first way to playing the second way consistently. So they had their dinner. Ben Zander waved him off and said, remember, whatever you do tomorrow, play the second way. He calls him up a week or two later. How did it go? Did you get the job? I didn't get it. Why? What happened? He said, well, I went in, I played the first way. I was in tune, in time, passionate, thorough, note perfect. But they said they didn't need a player like that. They said there were loads of players that were good. Hey ho, said Ben Zander, we keep working together, we keep finding ways that you're able to play the second way consistently. He's like, no, 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 no. He said, I came out and I was so frustrated because do you know what? I know I can play the second way. He said, and I knew there was an opportunity for a principal player in the main orchestra in my hometown, which I never imagined I could get at this point in my career. But I was so frustrated, I said to myself, do you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go for it. He said, I went in there, I played for them, they offered me the job on the spot. Ben Zana said, what did you do? He said, I played the second way, of course. Out of it, they coined this expression of what happens in life when we're prepared to go BTFI. When we get to that point where we go, do you know what? Playing the first way in tune, in time, good, professional, thorough, actually isn't enough. The only way is playing the second way. And we go BTFI, we go beyond the fuck it. We get to the point where we say, do you know what? It's not okay anymore. Fuck it. The only way is the second way. 
that absolutely captures the essence of what BTFI is about. About actually not being interested in people being simply good is the fascination with people being extraordinary. Do you know what? You only unlock the extraordinary when you're prepared to cross the line. So maybe in that there's a challenge for you around where in your life you play the first way, where you're good, thorough, professional in time, no perfect, and where in your life you play the second way. Where do you commit to it? No rules, no boundaries, you're passionate, you're inspiring, you take risks, you're brave. Think about it. Think about what your organisation, what your team, what your leadership style would be like if you were prepared to play the second way. Thank you for taking the time to tune in to our YouTube channel. There's loads of other videos here for you to go and have a look at. Perhaps once you're done with that, you'd also like to go to our website, which is www.buildingateam.co.uk. You can see the link to it just down there below this screen. Whilst you're there, perhaps you'd like to contact us too. Give us a call, send us an email, or just fill in the little contact form on our Contact Us page. We are always keen to hear from people, hear what you've been up to, hear how you go BTFI, and about your stories of extraordinary leadership. But for now, thanks for listening. See you again. Bye.